Yo, what's going on everybody? Dave Floppy here with The Intellect and I want to thank you all for tuning in. It's been quite a while, so I'm glad that you all can have me here in your living rooms, on your mobile phones, wherever you're at. So I'm glad that, you know, we could just share this moment together. But um, this weekend, went to the Kanye West listening experience in Chicago and it was dope. It was dope. Um, Never would I have thought that I would have the opportunity to go simply because, um, you know, events like that, they're really hard to get tickets for because they sell out so fast. And at a certain point, you need to connect or you need to pay resale. But, um, you know, I was fortunate, you know, by the grace of my sister and her handling that task and, you know, be, being able to provide everybody with def decent seats. You know, it turned out to be, a, you know, a, 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 a memorable experience, to say the least. But um, let me just go ahead and get to it. Um, the experience was interesting, and here's why. When we pulled up, it was a lot of cars, a lot of traffic, you know, not crazy traffic, you know, which is interesting because we got in. It probably only took us like probably like 20, 15 minutes to get in and get settled. But the traffic was there. You know, once we got out, we were about to go through the general admission line but but my sister she booked the suite so we were able to go through the suite line which is a lot less people that can fit in each of those designated rooms so from there we were able to get in and you know get settled no problem and then they eventually brought chicken wings and hot dogs and all that great stuff how how is how's the food yeah, and you know we ordered our different drinks and stuff like that but the issue with the the suite was that it did not have a bluetooth speaker and of course whenever you rent out a room it has to have the utilities so that you could play your own music and enjoy yourself the best way you see fit so it didn't have that and then it had a tv screen in there but we couldn't even turn the TV on for whatever reason. I asked for a remote and we couldn't even get that. So guess what? I was playing music off my phone for everyone to enjoy. And luckily everyone wasn't talking that loud so they could kind of hear it, but it's just not the same without that Bluetooth speaker. Going forward, um, Kanye was supposed to go on at nine o'clock. Now him being Kanye, he didn't start on time. As a lot of us, we are scheduled to be somewhere at a certain time and we don't show up. So wasn't mad about that. That was just more time for us to enjoy everyone's company, everybody that was there in that suite. We were seated behind his mother's house, this makeshift house that was created in the middle of Soldier Field. And all of the suites were all aligned on that one side of the field. But the issue is, is that like, once the show started, Kanye only performed the majority of the show in front of the house. You know, which is understandable, but it's just that if you're gonna create a house and something that is, you know, mainly entered and acknowledged from the front, you have to move around that. So Kanye, the next time you do that, please promise us that you will make a roundabout, like please go around and around that thing. Cause he did come around once and that was like the one moment that I waited on. So I can honestly say that I have seen Kanye West in person. Even though he looked like a little ant down there from how high up we were. But, um, you know, it was dope. I got to see Kanye in person, so, you know, I can check that off of all of my favorite artists that I, I uh, went to see in concert. There's only one person missing, and that's Drake. So, Kanye, don't, help, don't hate me for that, you know. Hey, I like both of you guys, so, hey, I'm just gonna keep it real. It was a dope experience, definitely something that was memorable. Going back to us being seated behind Kanye West, this, his mother's house, this makeshift house, I could have stayed home and watched it on Apple Music because I paid for an Apple Music uh, subscription as well. And I paid $150 for these tickets. And the thing is, is that I could have watched it at home and got a, a better experience because I would have been able to see everything from the front, 
um, and you know it would have been different angles you know um, being in a stadium is cool but see we weren't on the level of the stadium where everyone else was sitting as if it were a football game you know because at least that if I'm gonna be behind the house I could share the energy but at the same time it's like how are you I, I don't know what it was like for people sitting down there but sitting from behind where where the action is you don't really grasp it like granted like he had his you know his dancers and lamborghini trucks going around in circles and circles it's just not the same like you got to be present in front you know and i'm really disappointed in kanye because in atlanta it was a wide open you know visual you know here i know he you know he's paying respect to his mother and this album is really special and i know the album came out today and shout out to him and his family and god rest his mother soul but um you know you just got to think about you know the people that are coming to support you because to be quite honest we have a lot of reasons not to support kanye west but i have been a fan ever since college dropout because of my older brothers they used to play his songs all the time and i grasped on that and i was only like 10. now i'm 27 and i bought kanye's album a few days after it released when graduation released i bought that a few days after i went out and i supported it i didn't just bootleg it i supported it so you know i just think that artists need to do a better job of supporting their fans by giving them a great experience you know i'm glad that he brought it back to chicago but it's just like you know everyone didn't get the same experience and i don't know if the people that were sitting in the seat in the in the chairs in the stands but you know we didn't get the same experience because you know granted um i will say that being in a suite was beautiful in the eyes of a pandemic because it, you weren't overcrowded by people and wasn't like hundreds of people all around you even though it's outside but it's just the simple fact that you know we came to support you so it's like you need to give us something that all of us can enjoy not just the people who bought the seats that are right there who probably didn't even know that the show was going to be facing that way so even in that sense they got lucky you know so i just think that you know artists need to do a better job of supporting their fans and giving us you know our time's worth and our money's worth you know because with the pandemic it's encouraged to stay at home but we're taking a risk to come out and see you so you know it's all love at the end of the day but you know there's other ways i could show love as well and if a lot of people think that same way you know you miss out on money and you know you don't want to miss out on money as an artist because you probably missed a lot of opportunities in the past just given the circumstances we've been dealing with in the country when an artist says it's a listening party listening experience believe them i i was upset with kanye because he sat and just bobbed his head in front of this house the whole time you know um once again i would i would appreciate it if he bobbed his head walking around the whole house but um you know you get what you what you what what it says you get you know what what you see is what you get and um you know um it was a, a listening party you know i had already heard the album through some uh you know unnamed friends so you know i had already heard it and i knew going in that i was going to enjoy it and i can sing along but um you know um yeah it was just a listening party you know if it, it if it hadn't been named a concert maybe i could have expected kanye to sing a little bit more but it being a listening con uh experience you know what you see is what you get on a more positive note the good thing about kanye bringing this to chicago of course you know us being hometown fellow chicagoans um it's an opportunity for us to show him love and all of us as Chicago wants to come outside and enjoy each other's company and reconnect because I've saw people that I haven't seen in a long time like shout out to my fraternity brother Kellis King who's doing his thing with acting in LA he's been featured in a few music videos and shout out to my man's 
uh, Don Baptiste, who's been doing amazing work with videography coming out of Chicago and going all over the country. So shout out to those two brothers and, you know, keep doing your thing. And a lot of people that I saw that day, you know, too many to name, but, you know, much love to you. So it, it definitely made for a good time for everybody to come outside, and enjoy the nice weather before it gets cold because Chicago is going to start getting cooler. And uh, my outfit was on point. I'm not gonna lie, my outfit was on point. I loved it, it was very simple. I wasn't really trying to buy something new for this event because I already have enough clothes. But at the same time, it's like, I did wanna get on my Kanye West Grammy family, you know, you know, vibe and wear a whole suit. But, you know, it being Chicago, summertime Chicago, that, that wasn't the best idea. But um, overall, great experience, but you know, Kanye, you just, gotta, you just gotta work with us more, brother. You know, just give us more if we're coming to support you after such a traumatic, you know, series of events over the last few years, you know, Kanye, we love you, but, um, you know, you know, just meet us halfway. But at the end of the day, it's all love. The album is out, you know, it's crazy right now. You know, before recording this video, I didn't imagine the album being out, but it's good because now I got another video to make and another video to make. And a quick preview to my next video, somebody close to me, said that Kanye was bigger than Michael Jackson. I had, I had a conversation in my room the other day and people were like looking at me nuts when I said Kanye was bigger than Michael Jackson. Uh, no, he's not. But we're gonna cover that in the next video. Let me know what y'all think down below. If you all were had the opportunity to come to the listening experience, would you come? Would you stay at home? Would you watch it on Apple Music? Did he do things within his artistic vision? You know, I can complain all day, but some people who are, would have been in my same position would be like, no, nah, that was hot. That was, that's what, what was happening. Like, yeah, I don't care if I was underground and Kanye was on top of us, I'd still be glad to be there. So, you know, you never know. You know, everybody's opinion is different. But one thing I will say is that as a you know, as a enthusiast of music and a supporter of different artists and people in general, um, I think that if I'm going to invest my money and time into you, you need to, you know, make good on my investment, you know, so, you know, it is what it is, you know, but uh, yeah, you know, drop a comment down below if you're feeling the album, you know, this is a huge album going, you know, for it being in the name of his deceased mother, you know, God rest her soul one more time. And just this you know this battle between him and drake on you know just album releases and you know i'm just gonna say that since we already on this topic i think it's horrible that black men are competing to this level you know had it been in a more fun energy like how kanye did with 50 cent on 9 11 it would have been a little bit more acceptable but it's just like you know sad to say we love drama as fans so you know, it just makes for good drama. It makes for good promotion and, you know, all is great thing. I, I will say it's interesting. You know, Kanye, you know, they got the thing, his thing going on. Drake got his thing going on. But, you know, at some point, you know, I wish that those two brothers could, you know, have a conversation and forgive one another and just put it all to rest because we only do, all we doing is bringing each other down as, you know, as black people. So much love to y'all. Day Fly P. I'm out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Intellect, we out of here.